I presume we're going to get another witness. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Hopefully, yeah. February 23rd. Is that Groundhog Day? Groundhog Day's in February, right? That oh, doesn't matter. You know what? I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah. I, I know most people will know of Groundhog Day from, you know, Bill Murray the movie. movie? Yeah. But I am more familiar with uh, a cartoon, a Loonsies cartoon, where it's Groundhog Day and it is a one minute, <laughs> it opens with a one minute song of a groundhog singing about their day. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it, it's surprisingly great. <laughs> yeah. Also, the movie, great movie, worst poster ever. Like, the promotional material for the movie sucks, mm -hmm. but the, the movie's really good. Yeah. It's like such a rubbish-looking poster I'll send it to you afterwards. Yeah, I'm not familiar with okay. it. Okay. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> um, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Are trials always like this with you? Like, you're swimming up from the bottom of a lake, about to reach the surface? But no matter how hard you paddle, you have Pretty much. Except today we're swimming in quicksand. So, what happened to your sister anyway? Apparently she got called off to the judge's chambers. Hmm. Probably something to do with that piece of cloth. So, this is where we turn this trial around, right? Our only weapon, a tiny, insignificant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant, to tell the truth. Oh, I believe this is Hola, you. <laughs> Hola, partner. Yeah, I know. This is yeah. yeah. They say you show a red cloth to a bull, it'll fire up its temper. Okay, that's a fallacy. It I'll is a fallacy. Yes, no, uh, I know. They, they, yeah. they, it doesn't They're matter colorblind. what the color is. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter what color. Just as long as you flap something in their face, they get yeah. steamed. Yes, Looney Tunes tricked me. <laughs> <laughs> Cartoons lied to me! That's what they told me when I was a youngin, at least. Officer Marshall! Thought I'd come back to take a look, see how the trial's going. Looks like I'm late. They've got the home ranch locked down, tighter than a fort in enemy territory. Bit hard to slip out, huh? What's going on oh, over there me. anyway? Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, partner. I didn't mean it. No, you. to be fair, I thought it was you as well because he was doing yeah. that. And so yeah. <laughs> they're hard to slip out, huh? What is going on over there anyway? Well, the police I've seen these last two days have been really on edge. Don't you get enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You could be worrying about the chief prosecutors, too. Oh, you keep cutting out for a little bit for some reason. That's alright. It's taste. Oh, yeah. Um, Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. She wasn't even wearing a scarf. Ooh, ooh, oh. <laughs> you don't say. Now, don't that just beat all? I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many a time. I saw it that day too. She was wearing a red muffler. What? At the award ceremony that afternoon. Edgeworth seen it too, I reckon. What does that mean? In the photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. Is that what? Is the muffler gonna be in the muffler? Muffler exception. Th yeah. That was such a t 2014 joke. Sorry. <laughs> Just when everyone added the word exception to everything, remember that? Remember that? I do. I what I, what I remember yeah. is I was in media, and I think uh, the film had just come out, and my media teacher was just like, "You've got to see this film. It's called Inception. You, it's amazing. It's amazing. Got to see this. It's, it's called Inception. Have you seen it? It's called Inception. You've got to see this film. It's called Inception. Have you seen Inception? It's called Inception. It's like, I've not seen it. <laughs> it's called Inception. You should see it. Like, okay, great. <laughs> Yeah, okay, thanks, Teach. What's it called again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was after everyone was 
Like a few years before that, everyone was doing Bane impressions. <laughs> <laughs> And then that sure came were. back in fashion, yeah. Like yeah. it was a fad that came back in fashion. Yeah. Yeah. I, to be fair, I, I still enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. She's looking at us like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Star wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Remember, ponder sometimes. You have to grab the bull by the horns. And sometimes you just gotta let the bull go what it will. Time will tell. If you get hit by the horns, it would be very painful. <laughs> we, need, we need someone at the wreckage, brother. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. You mentioned something about wreckage. Yeah. So, what are we suing in now, Mr. Wright? Shit. <laughs> I, don't I don't know why. I thought he was gonna say piss. I don't know why. If it's. <laughs> Steak sauce, I can hook you up with some. What is this dialogue? <laughs> if it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some sweet ribs. Hooey! Uh, you said, What is this dialogue? <laughs> I, think, I, think you, I think you'll agree it's peak. <laughs> this, this, this game is cinema. Like, this, this game is. <laughs> I would pay good money to see all of these interactions happen. In Better Call Saul. <laughs> Great money. <laughs> word for word. <laughs> what, like an AMC directed Phoenix Wright? Yeah, show. but like, but like, that Marshall was just inexplicably like, like Jimmy's brother. <laughs> just, just saying in that dialogue for no reason. Just, it would be so, so very funny and I would love yes. it. But Have some more chicken, have some more pie. <laughs> It doesn't matter if it's boiled or fried. I'd like to resume. What's up? The judge keeps looking over the prosecution. <laughs> <laughs> is something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? You do look like you're dying. Are you okay? Your face is blue. Your lips are purple. You're sweating bullets. That furrowed brow. Those grinding teeth. Those watery eyes. What's more, your eyes are unfocused. You're doubled over. Your back is bent. I think this is a heart attack. It can't be. This can't happen. I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> well, well then. I believe it's time we continued on with this trial. You really probably should get medical in here. Yeah, quickly moving on. Yeah. He might actually, like, he was like that for a while. <laughs> it's not good. During our recess, I have requested that the prosecution conduct an investigation. This is unacceptable. Hmm. It seems our prosecutor, uh, prosecutor is quite beside himself. <laughs> uh, uh, excuse me, knock knock. Who is Who this? Be? Okay. Who's there? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How are you, Guilty Gear character? <laughs> Who are you? What's with this guy? Strange stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. Okay. Can I... Can I have a voice You absolutely may. I okay. can't... He's got the same badge as, um... Marshall. Uh... But I don't know what that means. <laughs> hey, the temperature rose 5.7 degrees and that man came in! Okay. <laughs> I don't believe it's a badge. I believe it's a portion of the sun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> who on earth is he? Okay. Yeah, who is he? Ah, oh, do you... Yes, uh, please. <laughs> yes? <laughs> <laughs> I said I was going to voice him. He said two-thirds of fuck all so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Sorry, I'm late. Urging. The rules are packed. It's just me. Long, long time no see, Urgy. How you been? Swim much these days? Ah, oh, uh, hello, hello. Uh, no, I've been so busy. <laughs> busy? <laughs> busy smidgy, Urgy. My boy, you have to make time to relax. Uh, yes, indeed. Urgy seems to be his nickname for the judge. I'm afraid you're right. I'm very afraid. 
Well, they're playing friendly music, so he's not an antagonist, maybe. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, but who, who are you? Haha! <laughs> so, you're Rido, the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Huh? Uh, th thanks? So sorry about our little... Worthy giving you all that trouble, eh? You know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly. L little Worthy? Mr. Wright. You don't know the district chief of police. Ch chief of police? He's the top-ranking police officer in the entire district. He looks like he wants to sell me flowers, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Name's Gan. Damn Gan. Please to miss you, everyone. I'm trying to work out what the pun is. Gammon, Gammon Dant, Damon Gant, maybe? I don't know, Name's is Gant. It, is it... If it was Damon Kant, it would be like, if you replace the D and the C, Commandant. But I don't know if that's a stretch. If, it, if his name was Damon Good, you'd be like, Damn, I'm good! You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like, it'd be, it'd be... Yeah. I think I might give him a Daniel, uh, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis voice. Yeah, know. go for it. Okay. I mean, whatever you want to do, you're, yeah. you're, you can. You want to give him a different voice every every scene. <laughs> so, that would be a, quite a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> to what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years. Two 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 years. You say <laughs> two years? Huh? Two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? What happened two years ago? <laughs> well, it's worthy here. Look at the poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Yep, there it is. Hey, th that's... My sister's muffler. So I still wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, Miss Sky really was wearing that muffler. But to think it was stuffed into the exhaust pipe. On Little Worthy's car, no less. I love how it takes forever. <laughs> yeah. It's really quite embarrassing, even for us. What is that thing? Is that my knife holder? Look at the label, Teal. Look at the label. <sighs> you are completely oh. on the money. You, you are so you are so on the money. Like, I just imagine you on the pile of money, like you from. <laughs> From Breaking Bad. I wasn't even looking at the SL9. I was like, what the <laughs> hell is this thing? But yes. Oh my god. I am I'm secretly the greatest detective who ever lived. <laughs> yes. I, I find the clues. Some would even call you Giga Chad. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's this? A Giga a Chad, you say? <laughs> Who's Giga Chad? Another witness? It's what you'd call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing this. Oh, I tell you what. That is the it... real murder weapon, yeah, isn't it? Because, uh, I bet it was, be was 4.5 <laughs> inches at least. 4.5 inches. Interesting. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so smart right now. <laughs> yeah. It's very good. Chief. What kind of outfit are you running? You... Set the yeah. pot to the kettle or however the expression goes. Yeah, like, I mean, have, you yeah. have, you look, have you looked at your own knife and your own <laughs> pot of flowers? <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. How could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? <laughs> now, wait a minute. Worthy. I've no desire to hear you. I'm telling you to wait. Or didn't you hear me? Have a look at this document, where it says person in charge of investigation. There's no mistake in that signature, is there? Miles Edgeworth. Th that's not fair. On the day of the crime, I, I had... 
You're heading the clouds because you got that award. I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I'll expect a written apology. What? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean this mess that you made. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. So, Edgeworth was the person leading the investigation. But he's not um, a detective. I yeah, I don't know about that. I mean... Interesting. Why? Okay. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. Never cook again. <laughs> Go. The court accepts this new evidence, but I'd like to ask a defense a favor first. Yes? Just to be sure, I'd like to take a look at the blade of this knife. The, the blade, Your Honor? <laughs> well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? And away from you, please. Not it towards your own chest. Uh, yes, well, uh, I think all you have to do is push that switch and... <laughs> <laughs> if I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point it at people anymore. Come on, just hurry up and open it. <laughs> I'm not doing this, by the way. It's doing it on its own. Uh, uh, oh, really? It's possessed. Uh, uh. Uh. All right. Oh, that's. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. Look. Look. Look at that. Hmm. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Right. It's a. Uh, so what's that? It's a, it's, a... it's a small tag on this knife. It seems to say it's SL92. A... What does that mean? Well, I had something similar. DL6 of DL6 incident fame. Oh, that's the naming scheme for right. evidence. Oh, that's the name, right, or the right. cases. But it's strange. Huh? What is? I'm not certain, but I get the feeling I've seen this. Sure have. Before. Same! Same, Emma! I know how you feel. I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Emma. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, hang on. Okay, it's not going to be a statute of limitations incident because obviously that's 15 years as we established last time but what if it is a dl6 sort of style and this is not 21st of february this year but it's 21st of february from two years ago the prior from two years ago on the day yeah because we know nothing we've heard that case be brought up by like five different people oh, for different reasons and this so might be you, heavily You know connected. in the cutscene, you know in the cutscene when two people get murdered? Yeah, maybe it's not the same time, maybe, it's two different Maybe it's not apart. the same time. Yeah, maybe the other murder happened exactly two years ago. In yeah, the same, same, same way. way. Yeah. Same way, different building, same person, got away with it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Letters like this, or letters that looked a lot like this, somehow. Yeah, you are actually spelling it out quite a bit for us. Well, I worked yeah. it out before that, right? So I still yeah. feel good, okay, game? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Don't scare me like that! I'm the one who's scared! The, look at this knife blade, the tip is... Look at this knife blade! <laughs> <laughs> the tip is broken off. And this dark red stain... Blood? Yeah, 100% that's the murder weapon. Like, without a, without a question. It's found as a crime scene wrapped in the defendant's muffler. Small tag attached. She okay. hid it there. She hid it there and said, I've left, the, left it in the muffler. Yeah, yeah, but... There's still the whole big question of... Why did she carry the... Like, why was the body there? Why did she carry it? Why did she do all this stuff? Instead of just, like, ring the police or whatever. I don't know. Well, we'll work it out. This does not excuse the actions of the police department. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. I'm terribly sorry, but could I ask you to testify for us about the split between the prosecutors and the police and this knife? 
Sure, sure thing. Not a problem. Not even a little one, really. Alright, this should be good. His beard looks like a seashell. Oh, it does, yeah. His <laughs> smile reminds me of something, but I don't know what it is. Like... I like your smile. It's like I've seen his face somewhere. Maybe I've just seen this screenshot before. Like, just a screenshot of him, and that's what it's reminding me of. I don't know. This knife is special, but I can't say how here. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. The detective was killed at the police department, see? What a mess. The time of the crime? 5.15. Nope. It, two murders happened at the same time. Okay. Okay. Scary coincidence, huh? Uh-huh. Not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. That is very interesting. So really, not two years apart, same time? Yeah. S same exact time. There, there was a murder at the police department? A detective? That's hush-hush information, Aji. We haven't exactly announced it yet. Well, I hope no one in the jury does go out and say anything. Cause, uh, yeah, and tell their friends and family and post yeah. about it on social media, and one of them so happens to be a journalist. <laughs> Wait, wait a second, you said 5.15. That's the exact time the Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Yeah, so we were bang on. There was a murder at the police department. 5.15. Okay. Oh, man. That's such a big deal. Just when you thought you know, they pull you back in. Like, well, the thing is, I knew from the get-go, just because I, I haven't obviously seen the case, but I knew this case was longer than the previous one. I knew this was going to be four days long. I knew there was going to be a lot going on. But, boy, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Anyway, we the department were all flustered, as you might well assume. We're in the middle of a top... Top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? I think we understand the police department's situation. Well, Mr. Wright, two detectives killed at the same time in two different places. The chances of that are really slim, scientifically speaking, of course. I'd like to exercise my right to cross-examine the witness. Very well. However, keep your questions focused on the case at hand. I am aware that I probably can't ask about the other case, even though we know it is going to be relevant, but that's, yeah. that's, uh, that's fine, so, okay. You also got Elton John glasses. Yeah, I was thinking that his glasses looked like breakout blocks. <laughs> <laughs> Ex excuse me, special? Hmm. Hard to come by this particular knife, anyway, else. Um, might that special thing be this little tag? <laughs> oh! Sorry, Rado, but I can't say that now, not that. We've established that the knife in Goodman's chest was this knife. Come on, Edgeworth. Like, <laughs> stop. Hang on a sec. Died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. What if they weren't at the exact same time? What if, actually, same knife? Someone was same one, same. Wait, so two different people killed by the same knife? Yeah. What? Because it's a, that's why I always thought that was weird. Why is it like every other autopsy is pinpoints it to like within half an hour or so? It, like it just knows. But this is within an hour and a half for some reason. I think. They killed this guy, moved them somewhere else, used the exact same knife to kill someone else, and then planted some blood on Edgeworth's knife. Okay, so That's they've used the SL, the SL9 knife was used for both murders. Yes. For whatever reason that we don't know. Yep. L uh, Lana has 
hid the knife in the exhaust pipe. The evidence. Why, knife, why but... she has it, I don't know. My. Oh, oh, oh but... sorry, another thing. Oh, but she wouldn't another... have been able to. You know, maybe they haven't killed with uh, the same knife because. Wait, did they say that this knife was used as the other murder? Crime scene the The thing is, the tag attached to it, right? Mm. That means it's it's evidence. But the thing is, because the guy's note, mm. because the guy's note in the fan of the boot the car, yeah, because that was written down, right? So at that point, the the, the this. SL9 thing, this is already a concept that exists. Yeah. So let's say, you know, DL6 was an incident. Yeah. Let's say it was the SL9 incident, right? Yeah. So SL9 is an incident that exists, right? So, so that, so that knife has been around since that incident. Yeah. So that tag, so that tag's not just been put on it like since last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, this knife has been evidence for a while. Yeah, yeah. I, I reckon That's what years. I think. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So, so maybe, maybe it couldn't. Have, maybe it, okay. Let me change my theory a little bit. It didn't kill both people because that's impossible. If 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 the if the other murder did happen at uh, five fifteen, and Lana put this knife in the muffler at five fifteen or around then, obviously it couldn't have been the one to kill the other person. But it could have killed Goodman, and it also could have killed someone two years ago. Yeah, in fact, it probably really likely killed Goodman because I don't doubt it was Edgeworth's knife. Yeah, yeah, Edgeworth's knife was probably used to do something related yeah. to the victim. Yeah, victim's yeah, yeah, like yeah, like like you mentioned earlier, like trying to carve out a bullet or something. Maybe not in that. Oh, it is! It is to carve out something. It's to carve out the fucking it's to blade. Carve out the blind. It's to carve out the blind. Oh my fucking oh my god. god! Yes, we solved it four yeah. hours ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby, we're geniuses. We got it. You're absolutely yeah. bang on. I want, okay, we, we need his job. That we need <laughs> Gant's job. Like, <laughs> we absolutely solved it. We've to, zero evidence. <laughs> <laughs> zero <laughs> evidence whatsoever, but we solved it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly convinced we've more or less solved almost certainly every single thing we've mentioned is going to come up in this specific <laughs> trial and not in the next two days. So it's not like we're two days ahead. We are basically an hour ahead at best, but it still feels good. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> we've established that another good news chest was his nerf. Well, whatever you say, Edward. <laughs> now, uh, now, why was there another knife at the case of the crime? That's quite a mystery. It ain't we solved it, mate. <laughs> I like mysteries wrapped in something. A muffler. Yeah. Uh. This knife was found on the scene of our crime. I think that makes it makes it connected to the case, don't you? See, there's a lot of things that I can't go on in the department. I can't explain. Yeah, like... Letting criminals into the evidence room for no yeah. reason. <laughs> it's delicate, okay? Sorry, Rado. Maybe there's something about the knife that will give us a clue. Let's examine that knife while we can, Rado. <laughs> hmm, evidence that links this knife to Detective Goodman. I think perhaps the pieces are falling into place. I should try presenting the piece of evidence that's had me stumped all this time. So, how are things down at the department? I mean, yeah, two two detectives dying on the same day is bad. That's really bad. Like, that's gonna really shake things up for the whole department. Like, yeah, it's terrible publicity. Basically, and no, it's not um, even that. Like, if they were all doing like a couple of investigations that were like close to concluding, which I presume is why they were killed, like all their evidence and all their like info is gonna just go away because other people don't know what the what's going on really. Like, it's gonna it's gonna have a a very serious knock on effect, I would imagine. Something happens at the police department too, huh? You got a good look in your eyes there, Rado, my boy. 
Sharp. Hungry. So, something did happen. And why wasn't I informed? Why weren't you informed? Well, why didn't you ask? <laughs> no matter. I understand. You were busy. Well, with Lana's case and all. Well, what happened? What happened to the police department that day? On the same day that a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? That's a fact! Surprising, isn't it, Ergie? Oh, I might have lost the words. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. Just arrested? That was quick. But there's still a lot of questions, and unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, Rido. I suppose I could help, if you help me by giving me data on the case. <laughs> oh, good one. This kid's sharp. Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing, and one oh. thing only. Well, we know when they died. Yeah, we know when they died. We, we know roughly where they were found. So how they were killed. I mean... By... If it were by... Stab... They are both killed by stab... Yeah. It helps to stab. be like, okay, there's a connection in the murder. Like, we can... So the, the, okay, the, the, so one was killed in the parking lot. The other one was killed... In the department, in the detectives, the police department. Yes. In that building. So. Yeah. We 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 know, we know they were found in the police department. We just don't know exactly where. Okay. This that's crazy, but this actually drastically alters the case. I presume, like, because there's no, it's not like we can lose points. There's not a health system in the corner, so this is a genuine. We get told a piece of information, and this can alter the case going forward. I presume each of them will give you something, but I'm, it might be different. I don't know. I want to know how they were killed. I think we know already, but it would be good to corroborate it. Yeah. I don't know. Well, how was the detective killed? How was he killed? Now that's the interesting part. It is what we in the force call a stabbing. With a knife. A knife? That's exactly the same as Detective Goodman. That's the spirit. We're cooking now. But you know, that's not the only thing that was exactly the same. Oh, is it going to be in the parking lot? What do you mean? There were more similarities between the two cases than the cause of death. Seems like I'm gonna have to press this a bit harder. Okay, so... Did I already... I don't know if I pressed that. 5... 515? But that's... That's when Detective Goodman was killed in the prosecutor's office. What? Funny, isn't it? A murder at the prosecutor's place, and a murder at our place at the very same time. What are the chances? Quite unlikely. Coincidence? This is just my gut feeling, but I'd say there's a 0.001% chance of that happening. Chief Gant, please tell us more about the incident. Did I already press this? How can you say there's no connection? How? Because I'm the Chief of Police? I can't just say anything I please, Rido. You understand? I you understand, Rido. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can prove there is a connection, more power to you. 
Maybe there is something that ties the two murders together. Whatever it is, I'd better find it and get to the bottom of this. Two detectives were killed at 5.15, one at the prosecutor's office and one at the police department. That can't be a coincidence. And that knife! What was it doing in there? I'd better check this knife out. Okay. So, so unless there's evidence for the connection between this knife and Goodman, I think present this right now. It's got to be mm. right. Yeah, because that was found in the trunk, and it's the label of yeah. the knife that we've just been given. So, yep. Wait a second. Ha! <laughs> At last, an honest to goodness objection. This knife. This has to have something to do with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? <laughs> An honest to goodness, what do you mean from Aji? This is great. Look at the tag on this knife. It reads SL92. And this is important. Why? Over here we also have a memo that was on the body of the victim. What's this? 6 minus 7s? 12, 2? Your Honor, it's upside down. Upside. The printed name on the memo makes it look like it's right side up. But turn it around, and what do you get? Yes! <laughs> a couple of geniuses! Yeah. Aha! Aha! Whoever wrote this note was holding the paper upside down. That's so nice. That's the same thing that is written on the knife's tag. Order. Order. Well, Chief. Ah, oh, well. I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, Rido. That's not good. <laughs> I win. Uh, what game is this guy playing? Playing Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. <laughs> <laughs> this knife was evidence in a case it was stolen from the department's evidence room. Oh, okay. it was a bad day for the department. It was stolen. Right. So did he already? We already knew it was stolen. Okay. So, so this knife was stolen. Yes, but on the day of the murder. It was evidence, you say. Was it, in fact, a murder weapon? Nice, nice, nice. Good show, little worthy. It was a murder weapon, as it happens. It was evidence from a case long since solved. So this knife was stolen on the day of the murder, and was found in the exhaust pipe of Edgeworth's car. How do you think there isn't a connection there? Hmm, okay. Did I bring out that? I'm gonna do that again. I think, I think we've had this already, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it's the same. You're gonna remove in your eyes, yeah. boy. Yeah, we've had that. Okay. Okay, so... We've had all of this. Interesting. So we gotta present something somewhere. Time was 515. It's not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. But it is. We've already proved that. So we need to find a second piece. Okay, what have we got that contradicts? So we're trying to prove that they're linked. Pretty much. Um, oh, the size of the blade. Um, because... The problem is he's not mentioned the size anywhere. I mean, but you could use the autopsy report to prove that they're linked, because the the the. Hmm. 
Oh no, but that's you're you're quite you're denying Edgeworth's knife. You're not exactly proving that knife. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. What if it was an evidence? It was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department. So, see, I, I'm I'm willing to bet the case was two years ago. Um. So. The detective was killed by the police department. Time of crime 515. It's not officially linked to this case, so I can't talk about it. So. It's not officially linked. So he thinks it is, probably at this point, if he didn't already. Okay, so the question is. That was another thing that's in Edgeworth's toolbox. Like, you have to know it's there. People don't keep big blades in a toolbox. Maybe like a maybe like a, a little sharpie knife that you can use to cut things every so often. Enough. But, but not, yeah, not a blade like that. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I I don't like that the intro showed Badgy. You don't Hello. like the what? Did you cut out that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did for me as well. Uh, yeah, you can you still see? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't like that Badgy was showed in the intro because yeah. which version of Badgy was it? This or the doll? I think it was the doll because the way I don't know. I just or I just recall it being the doll. Hmm. But if it's this version, that means Gumshoe was maybe nearby. I don't think he did it, but I don't like it. I don't see where it's going. I don't like where it's going. Um. Hmm. Maybe. This within an hour and a half thing. Yeah. But, I mean, it happened at the same time, so... Now, what was the first one again? Evidence in the case was stolen from the department's evidence room. Do I just present the knife? <laughs> um... I guess so? But... No, it doesn't matter. What I'm looking for exactly. What does it want me to put? The thing is, the autopsy report. You know the autopsy report yeah. for a good one? Yeah. Doesn't mention anything about a piece of blade inside him. Oh, you know why? Because Lana probably took it out of him. Yeah. Trying to save his life. Because so yeah. they would have absolutely found it in the autopsy yeah. report. They would have, I mean, the autopsy, they would have absolutely found it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, try and present the autopsy report and see what happens. I don't know why, mm. but, I don't know. Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. It does not. It does not. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry, Righto, but you were you were wrong. Oh, wait, how did you get it back in the? Um, is it spring loaded? The knife. Because if you wanted to retract it, how did you get get it back in? I do not know. Um, that is a good point. I'm unsure. Because you wouldn't push down on the blank. You absolutely would you not. Would, no, no, you're the stupid. So like. <laughs> How, how would it, is, does it, does, is it gravity that if you hold it and then it falls out, or is it got a spring in it? it must this have is a spring. totally irrelevant, I know, but. No, it's not fully. I don't know. Because uh, switchblades, they, they, they come out not parallel, they come out at an angle, they, they, they flip out. Mm. So that you put your hand on the, the non sharp side to retract it. That's how you put it away. 
but with that one, that makes no sense. You'd have to hold the blade <laughs> and then put it back in. Yeah. While you're, like, it was a rough day, right? Yeah. This is a stretch, but we're getting desperate. If it was oh, a rough day, they, hand, yes. they handed out an award. Oh, you've done it. Never mind. Did Surprising, I? isn't it, Dodgy? I don't, I don't know what you what did, did I do? but... <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> what did I, I do? Do you, have a, do you have a suspect? Oh, wait, no. No, this is just... There was a yeah, suspect. Yeah, I was going to say, just I thought I pressed. That's a good shot. Oh, yes. Okay, so we can we can ask another question. Right, okay. How the victim was found when the victim died. Mm. We know when the victim died. How, where the victim was found would be good. Right, okay. Okay. So tell me, where was the victim found? Well, I can't speak on where the corpse was found. But I can show you the crime took place oh, in the evidence room of the police man. department. In in the evidence room. Evidence room? Wait a second. I've heard of that. The evidence room? Did he mention that in his testimony just now? Yeah, just now, we don't need a flashback. <laughs> <laughs> Anime moment. This knife was an evidence in case it was stolen from the department's evidence room. There's the connection between the two cases. You seem happy, Mr. Wright. Happy? We just got handed our ticket to go to town on this case. The link between the two cases established, we finally have some leverage. Now I can get Gant to testify about the details. Yay, I solved it, sort of. Um. So. What do I do? So do I just be like, ah, the knife was linked. Even though we already knew it was linked. Maybe do the thing you did before to get that three dialogue options up. Yeah. Was it this? Yeah, okay. He said you could only ask one question, yeah, but so if I... we just ask it then three yeah. times, we get access to... Yeah, I, I can rewind now, time. My boy, now, my boy, I believe in plain speaking. You can ask me one question, but it's actually three. So, when the victim died? Yeah, and then it'll be more accurate, I guess. So, when did the murder at the police department occur? Now, that's a sharp question, Rido. Very sharp. Well, my boy, you're gonna love this. The time yeah. of the crime, 5.15. Yeah, Scary coincidence. That. We already know that. Yeah, okay. Okay, well... Uh, so if we press him here, right, because we loaded, like, so we want to get the answer to where he was found, which was the evidence Right, room. okay, we, we, then, loaded off, we loaded yeah, before we... Yeah, and then, right. after he says that, you can press on the final thing, because that's the connection. Right. Okay. Right. It's not uber clear, but yeah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna save. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, I can now press him here and we can move on. I think. Chief, the defense's position is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. <laughs> you don't say. Well, out with it, Rido. What's your connection? Yes, out with it, Mr. Wright. The connection is a place mentioned in the testimony we just heard. The knife found in the lot was stolen from the police department's evidence room. Not to mention the victim had on him the case number on the knife's evidence tag. And we also know that the detective murdered at the police department was killed in that very same evidence room. Indeed. There do seem to be too many connections for it to be a coincidence. <laughs> yes. He's, um, what is it people call it? Um, mogging? Mogging or mewing or something? That's what that awkward pause is. <laughs> you two make a good pair. Took my men two days to find out what you deduced right here. Chief. 
I request that you release your information on the victim at the police department. See, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet and all. Can we get the information? Unofficially? Um... Sure. Why not? It's unofficial after all. What? Really? Who would have guessed? I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim at the department, okay? Okay, go on. If you're gonna tell us a little, why not tell us everything? Ah, well, case information is sticky stuff. You have to do everything properly. Oh, well, guess I might as well try and get what I can out of him. Okay. Victim's ID number. We're not gonna know who that is, though, are we? Hmm. Let's say. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. in case. Um, division? Well, oh, victim's gender. Let's say it's half yeah. men, half women, right? Oh, well, we've narrowed it down to half the people. It's, it's, it's irrelevant. Yeah. But the thing is, an, I don't know, the, the, an ID number is so... It's unique. Yeah. So it's better than... I suppose. But division... Uh -huh. Okay, I'm personally leaning towards ID number. Yeah, right. we'll do ID. We'll do ID. I, okay, yeah. Okay. How about you tell me the victim's ID number? Sure, why not? It's not like you'll be able to tell who it is from that. Of course not. You won't tell me their name after all. We keep a tight lid on ID numbers, so don't go getting your hopes up. The number is... Five eight four two one eight nine. Does that mean anything to us? What? It's the same. It's it's Goodman. It's the same guy. Oh oh. I thought about it. The thing is, I thought about it right, and then I thought, no, that can't be possible. But his ID number is Yabadab. <laughs> the Yabby Yabadab. <laughs> Uh, okay. I need the ID number! Okay. Chief Fred, you, you, you killed the man in cold blood. <laughs> okay, maybe you're right. Maybe there aren't two... Yeah, but why is it... It's, it'd be a missing person. Why? He, he's saying, oh, they're not linked, they're not linked. We're in a court case. Like, we've we've borrowed... This is, this this doesn't make any sense. We, 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 we've kind of hijacked their crime... Do you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. We've hijacked their crime it by stealing okay. their victim. It has to be a different person because they found a body in evidence and we found a body in in the other... Like, so they ha it has to be two people. But how is Goodman the one who died at the police department? Um... Like, maybe they can we spoofed... count the other picture, please? I want to see the maybe... other. Like, okay, it. Maybe they spoofed the ID to get into the evidence room. The thing is, it. Victim shoe. It does not say Goodman shoe. It says there's traces of blood from Goodman and Lana. It does not say that it is Goodman shoe. Right. A bit of a stretch. Maybe someone posed as Goodman. Spoofed the ID. Yeah. And said, can I go in the evidence room? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. But how did it end up elsewhere? It ended up at the other place. Oh, God, okay. Well, that's quite long. <laughs> and we have to remember these. It drives me nuts. Eight, two, oh, I can't do it. I didn't even get the first number right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, does this tell you anything? I didn't remember the victim at the police department. It tells me something. Actually, it does, Your Honor. It does. I think. Meaning. It has to be what I think it is. 
What does this mean? Well, let's see what the defense has to say. You say the ID number of the detective who was murdered at the police department. It tells you something. What does it tell you? Witness. What is it, Mr. Wright? You're grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I, I'm i grinning like an anime fan on prom night. Actually, I, I, yeah. it's, it's just, I, I got confused. And this is news? Huh? Just come up with both guns blazing. Like you always do. Police department. The prosecutor's office. Two places, two detectives murdered at one time. Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here. Oh, is it yours? No. I'm not police! Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> and, no, Your Honor, I'm a defense attorney, remember? <laughs> This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, Rido. Personal IDs are top secret. Detective Goodman's ID number is 5842189. And this means what exactly? The same. Huh? <laughs> Wait, that ID number we heard from the chief earlier. I started with A2. Mm, I've forgotten. You didn't even get the first number right. Again. <laughs> what is this buffoonery? Just hold them side by side. The number the chief of police gave us was 5842189. Wait. Wait a second. Right, what does this... Mean? That's what I want to know. The two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed in the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. What does our witness think about that? Oh! <laughs> sharp as attack! Righto, sharp as attack! Well, wait, Detective Goodman is our victim. He was killed at 5.15 in the underground parking lot. Yet, a Detective Bruce Goodman was also killed at the police department, in the evidence room, at the exact same time. Th that's impossible. So what we're saying is, the same person was killed at the same time? And in a completely different location? Order, order! Chief, what does this mean? No. What I want to know is, why didn't I hear about this? Yes, it's top secret, fine. But I'm the prosecutor in charge of the case. Now, just wait a second, Worthy. No need to get all flustered. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait. I said wait. Or well, didn't you hear me? The oversight. The grave error. Mr. Edgeworth, they're yours. How? <laughs> what? How? How dare? We informed you yesterday. I believe it was our Officer Meekins who brought you the new- Oh, and he shoot him off! Yeah. He shoot, he shoot him off. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Officer Meekins did it! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, the Undertale dude. Yeah, 100%. Like, I don't- I don't trust him for a second. No, because what's he doing- what's he doing- like, come on, like, Officer Meekins? I- I think he did it. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I think he's involved. He just he just seems so goofy. Like, I just don't buy it. Uh. Mr. Wright, where have we heard that name before? Wait, aha! Uh -huh. I forgot what he looked like. I can't... I can't um, yeah, Undertale. No, no. 
Here he is. <laughs> Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir! Also, his hand is bandaged. Oh, it is. Yeah, we did point that out, I think. You don't mean him. According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. But your officer, he told me. He said that report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. Detective Bruce Goodman murdered in the police department evidence room. Mr. Edworth, the victim's name is written right on the top of the report. <laughs> yeah, that is actually on him. <laughs> you shouldn't have. You should have at least read, like, even briefly. Yeah. You know, be like, yeah, I've read it. Yeah, yeah f off. You I know, guess like... it technically <laughs> isn't related to the Lana Sky issue because it was a separate murder. It was a yeah. What did your officer tell me? It's not his job to read reports. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> He's green. Honestly, I'm not sure if that officer was <laughs> capable of making a connection. Yeah. Oh, well. He did seem challenged. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> In any case, this is a serious error. A gross negligence of duty on your part, worthy. But, but, sir, you could have submitted that report this morning to the court as evidence. Then I... He's mewing. <laughs> He's like uh, mocking or mewing, whatever the word is, I don't know. No such luck this time, worthy. Or should I say, unworthy. That stings. What? <laughs> now that was the second rule of evidence law, hmm? Well, Mr. Wright? Huh? Oh, well, it's, uh... Rule 2. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. How is this rule relevant? Normally you submit a list of evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. So, what does this mean? I couldn't submit this evidence until a connection was proven in court. Oh, sorry, Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> the connection was just proven by Rido over there. Good job, Rido, my boy. Uh huh? Uh, I... I was just doing my job. No. No! Yes. <laughs> it seems we have come to the end of this trial. I know you're going through a tough time, Worthy. What with all those rumors. You were even in the defendant's chair just this past December. <gasps> I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. Mr. Edgeworth. Please, just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened. If it's the last thing I do... You'd better get results this time, really. You have my profound apologies, sir. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. My throat is dying. I don't think there's ever been an error this serious in the history of this court. I will grant one further day as the prosecution has requested. Will that be sufficient, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Whatever your punishment for this is, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. Very well. Court is adjourned. Oh to boy. Be oh my god. Meekins is uh, what the kids would call a sassy baka, I think. <laughs> because his band is bandaged. He, he was the one with the report yeah so he he he's he's kind of in between these cases in yeah. a way because he's going to edgeworth like you know it's kind of he's the only other character and you know another thing i think i think 
he is boyfriend number three or one of the many boyfriends of the cough I mean, up queen. Could be. Because be I, I think I think she just has like gets close to the the gentlemen who work there so she can get her own way or like mm. or you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think I don't know. We've not we've not even seen the security boyfriend yet. You know no. what I mean? And she mentioned she had three boyfriends, so there's a second. Yeah. There's, 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 we have not seen any of the boyfriends technically. If we, if, he, we, well, you might have seen one of them, but we, we don't know for sure. Um, so yeah, we're, yeah, and I mean, as as the rest of the cases go, there's probably going to be a new character besides those that we'll meet at some point as well. So, right. but no, I mean, oh. at this point, who do we think actually did the killing? Okay, um. Hmm. Meekins or someone we've not seen. Well, okay. Well, so far, Meek, we don't. Meekins doesn't have a motive. No. I would be yes. willing to. I would be even willing to bet that. Um. If he is involved in, if he's, if he's, if he is involved in some serious way, Meekins, he has a sprite where his demeanor completely changes. Oh, one hundred percent. A a bit like um, like another character. Yes, but like, I, I, um, yes, but we will not say. Uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Don't say anything. I've right. been thinking it this whole time, and I can't say the <laughs> words because it is a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, like you, you can't, you, you can't even be like, oh, it's from this. Like, yeah. is it, is it a movie? Is it, a, is it a series? <laughs> yeah, is it a game? On. Like, I can't even say what it specifically is in any capacity because it gives it away. And like, if you know, oh, you absolutely know. But if yeah. you don't. That's fine. You'll discover it one day, maybe. Like it's, it, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's interesting. 